crystal sky Crowded places Lonely faces Howling wind In those eyes Hmm Three days in a row I've been like that But To be honest I had I had a big night out and that kind of unsettles everything, especially when you haven't done it for a while. Like, I know people say, and, and you do get dehydrated after you go on a night out and stuff, but I always replenish the water, like, pretty easily. I drink a lot as it is. But the fact that I'm hanging around there now is good, but also suggests that I need to change something. So we'll give it one more day. We're not going to make anything drastic because of this quick... Uh, not quick, because of this night out, I don't want to make a quick drastic change, but just because of that. Um, because that could affect it massively. I was kind of hoping that today would be the day I was under 180. But, it's progress. So once your spinach looks like this, and only when it looks like this, when it's all shriveled up, like so, is when you add the egg. Okay. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the meals that I am currently eating in order to lose weight. Before we get started, I am currently trying to lose a little bit of weight before body power, only so much so that I can walk around and just look a little bit better. My aim is not to get competition shredded, my aim is just to lose a few pounds and to be honest, feel a little bit better about myself. So, these are the kinds of meals that I'm eating in order to get there. Meal number one, we have a wrap with 200 grams of egg whites, 100 grams of spinach, and 15 grams of ketchup. Mm. This is kind of like a staple meal of mine, whether I am bulking or cutting down, on the basis that it's, it's good food but I can just change the quantities that I have. Depending on what I'm eating throughout the rest of the day, sometimes I'll have a wrap, sometimes I won't have a wrap, sometimes I'll have a bagel, sometimes I'll have just a scrambled egg, sometimes I'll have scrambled egg with spit, like, it depends on one, what's in the house, two, what I can be bothered to cook, and three, what I'm gonna be eating for the rest of the day, which is probably the, the most important factor. But, meal number one, drop this video a like, if you like, try to, and let's get it started. <laughs> This meal will also be washed down with some high quality H2O. I drink a lot of water, you know. A lot of water. If I don't have water for, a, for a, like an hour, I'm like, God, I'm so thirsty. I need to down, I need to down like two liters of water. <coughs> You will very rarely see me without a water bottle, a protein shaker, a, a drink of some sort, right? You will very rarely see me without one, um, which is key. <laughs> Hydration is key. Morning, doggies. How are we doing on this fine day, huh? How are we doing? You okay, Flicky? You enjoying being sat in the sun? You just want to go out, don't you? Do you want to go out? Yeah? Okay. Good girls. Go on then. Oh, you want some loving first. You want some loving first. Yo, yeah, Jess. I see. Go and catch it. Go on. Ah. 
So, next up, we are, can you see me? Let, me? let me stand like this. Next up, a banana. A medium sized banana, by my records. I normally have something like this, or like an, an apple, or, I, know, I, I try to have a piece of fruit in between my meals, on the basis that if I don't, I'll just have a chocolate bar, so. A banana it is for today. Um, the reason I'm only having a banana, because it is half past 12 now, is because I will be training, oh, a banana in my mouth, I will be training very soon, and by very soon, I mean in a minute. Uh, we are currently having some work done on the house, as you guys heard in the video before, or the one before last or something. Um, and they're on their lunch break. Basically, I want to record something in the garage, and so I don't want to be blazing music, screaming, while they're doing work outside. They're on their lunch break, so I'm going to have the majority of the session to do what I want. So anyway, rather than lunch, I'm just having a banana and that, yeah. I'm actually really nervous to do this. But let's go. Actually, wait, I need to wait 20 minutes first. Oh yeah. yeah, I like that. It's good, isn't it? So, post workout, why did I say post like that? Post workout meal, um, this channel, the channel's standard tin of beans, tin of tuna, and a packet rice. Simple, easy, quick, student standard, student quality meal. <laughs> um, the student from deep within me still uh, actually quite enjoys this meal. Total for this 116 carbs, 8 fats, and 89 protein. So, not a lot of micros in there, but overall, not too bad. I just wanna see how many people I can offend with my cold beans in this video. We are Team Cold Beans. Team Cold Beans. Crystal Sky. Got 
was dinner, muscle fruit chicken 200 grams, sweet potato fries and peas. One thing with the peas, I'm kind of good at eyeballing them now because I've been pouring them for so long but then at the same time um, I did actually wear out everything that I've eaten today and, and to be honest most days and most meals I uh, wear out one way or another. So. I'm happy to report that today we woke up at 179 pounds dead, which is 10 pounds down from where we originally were when we started this kind of dieting phase. Body power, we are coming for you. How long till body power, Dad? 32. Days? Days. 32 days. If you follow me from kind of last year and, and all that kind of stuff, breaking the 180 barrier was actually something I found very difficult to do. And I actually made a post on Instagram uh, maybe two, three days ago now, talking about the fact that I was just staying with it. Now I have the experience, if you like, to not panic about that, and know that I'm doing the right things and the weight will eventually come off. Um, more than likely in two or three pound kind of bursts, that's just how my body tends to work, rather than a, right, I'm gonna lose one pound this week, one pound this week. You know, it's not linear, is, is the way that I should, uh, should say it, really. So, that brought the macros for the day to a grand total of 2,304, we had 276 grams of carbs, 36 grams of fat, and 197 protein. So we were about 100 calories, probably like 70, 80 calories um, over the daily calorie goal, if you like, but I did 500 calorie cardio session. You know, my, my macros actually stay the same for training days and non-training days, so I burned a hell of a lot more calories than I would do on, let's say, a day like today, which is a rest day. Um, so being sort of 70, 80 calories over, not a big deal, especially because a big lump of that actually came from protein. The protein goal was 190, and we finished on 197. So, you know, we had a, a teeny little bit on top. In fact, lots of it came from carbs. But hopefully you guys actually took something from this. Maybe you can try one of the meals. If you are on Team Cold Beans, let me know in the comment section if you are dead against Team Cold Beans. If you are Team Warm Beans up in the microwave, which I am sometimes, I'm sometimes in that park, then let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's meals. Um, obviously, this is not what I eat every single day, but to be honest, I tend to eat fairly similar foods. You know, sometimes I won't have peas, I'll have broccoli, or you know, I'll have oats in the morning, or something like that. I'll do a few more of these videos in the run up to Body Power. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know your thoughts on today's video in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Subs are going up. 1,500 by Body Power is the goal. 1.5K by 10th of May. My little campaign. I just made up on the spot there. Thank you for watching, guys. Drop a like if you have enjoyed. Together we will grow, and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully a bit lighter than 179. Sick. <laughs> 32 days, but hey, who's counting? Eh? No, no, that, that didn't sound planned at all.